My name is Anthony Budmeyer. I'm a senior at Belfouche High School. I'm number 22 on the basketball team. The season this year, it was, uh, it was good. We had some ups and downs. We started the year off a little slow with Spearfish, but then we got back on track against Wald. We had a good stretch of games from Lee Deadwood to Redfield and Langford. And then Hot Springs we played well in and lost by like four. And then middle of the season, it was a grind. It was tough all year, but we stuck with it. Kept getting into the gym every weekend and kept showing up to practice all the time. And, and it showed at the end of the season when we played Hill City and got that big win. And then our last game against STM, we had them. We were up in the third quarter and we had them scared. They had to put their good kid back in. And then it was just, they beat us, but it was a fun season. I plan on playing basketball at college. I don't know where yet, but I plan on playing basketball and majoring in agricultural business. I'm Jed Jensen. I'm a sophomore. Uh, I think this year's basketball season went pretty good. We competed very well. Towards the end, we played really good. We beat Hill City out of the playoff to play SCM. Played good against them guys. Uh, just couldn't finish it out. I think I had a pretty good season. I just want to give credit to our seniors, big leaders. Uh, Anthony Budmeyer, he was a big uh, player this year, helped us win lots of games. Anthony Staley, really good guy to play with, super nice kid. Uh, Tate Nackley, he's, he came in clutch a lot, big rebounds, lots of good assists. Uh, Nolan Waffelt, he's a junior, he'll be playing with us next year. Uh, do, he did good things for us this year and hopefully better things next year. But I think our season went pretty good. Tate Yackley, I'm a senior at Belfouche High School, and I uh, play the forward and guard position. And we started out pretty hot in the season and then played a couple tough teams, and then we never stopped fighting, really. We always, all of our games were close, hard-fought battles, so nothing really to be looked down on or anything. And then come the end of the season, we weren't doing as good as we would had liked, and then come playoff time, we beat Hill City in a close close game, and that was that was probably the my favorite game I've ever played in. In terms of my basketball career, is just fun and always always a battle and competition. My name is Owen Waffel. I'm a junior for Belfouche. So this year for basketball, we had. A uh, great group of seniors this year and ones that graduated from last year, so we had big shoes to fill. And we had pretty high expectations for the season. I think it went really well. At the beginning of the year, we kind of learned how to play as a team. And early in the year, we kind of struggled and we started figuring out how to work together and how to get better. And come playoff time, we won first round and we had a really good game and then put up a fight against STM. So I think it was a pretty successful season for us goal-wise. We're visiting with Kyle Webb, assistant basketball coach here at Belfast High School to wrap up another season. Yeah, thanks for coming down for uh, give us a shout to kind of talk about um, the performances that our players put on this year. Um, it was a, a season like any other, you know, with all the cancellations early on in the year. Um, we opened up with Spearfish and then I don't think we played for another 10, 10 days against Wall. And then after that, it was Christmas break and players were off and cancellations again. So then it was another 10 days or so before we got um, on the basketball court. So it kind of took us a little while to, f to find some rhythm um, for players to get used to. You know, we lost so many seniors last year, but we had some good kids coming back. But it just kind of took us a while to kind of get everything rolling this year. With the weather we had in December, were you able to make up all those games? Um, we were able to make up all but one. Um, unfortunately, we had a game versus Sundance to end the year, and um, due to scheduling on their part, they had to forfeit for us, so we were unable to play that one. But all the other games we were able to, to sneak in, so um, we kind of had an opening towards the end of our s schedule. We probably had like one game in two weeks or something like that, so then we were able to fit those games in. Um, so the, yeah, to start the year, we played like once every 10 days, and then at one point during the season, I think we played uh, four games in five nights, and that included our East River trip where we went down to uh, Redfield and, and played Redfield, and then the next day we played Langford, and we were able to get two wins uh, against East River schools, which is something to be proud of. Coach, let's talk about your seniors. 
Uh, yeah, we were lucky to have um, five seniors this year. Our two captains were both seniors. Um, Anthony Staley, our big man, um, he shot over 50% from the field. He's a guy that we wanted to get the ball to as much as possible. Um, and then our other senior captain was Anthony Budmeyer. He's been a three-year starter for us. Um, you know, if anyone that's watched him play, he's a, he's a big shot taker and a big shot maker. He does really well for us. Um, those two guys are great on and off the court. Um, and then add in Tayton Yackley. He was our third senior that was in the starting lineup for us. Um, he's a tremendous defender, plays really hard, rebounds really well. I thought he really sacrificed a lot of his individual stats this year um, for the better of the team. If you look at our win over Hill City in the playoffs, he didn't score at all. But if you watch the game and saw how well he rebounded and how uh, tough he was on the defensive side, he just shows how big of an impact he can have on, on us in getting wins. And then you had Jaden Sexer and JT Hani coming off the bench for us that were just two really athletic bigs for us. And they did, um, really pushed our other guys in practice and did a great job of getting us prepared for, for the different teams we faced this year. And then to uh, round out our starting five, we had Jet Jensen. He's a sophomore, um, you know, showing up. He's a little guy, but he can really shoot it. Um, he actually, since I've been here, um, which is eight years with Coach Podorf. He broke our school record for most threes in the game, which was seven, I believe. Um, so that's really cool for him to do that just as a sophomore. He has a very bright future. And then our other leading scorer was Nolan Walfelt. Um, he's a really good slasher, great athlete. You know, he's our starting quarterback, does really well on the baseball field and um, good rebounder. Um, he can go up and, and dunk two hands. So he's super athletic and uh, he's got a really bright future as well. And Coach, it was great you guys made the playoffs. Yeah. Um, our thing that we kind of told the kids all year is like, all that really matters is how well we're playing at the end of the season. Um, during the season, um, really almost every single game we had a chance to win, but we just kind of couldn't get over that hump. But we told the kids if they just kept, you know, coming to practice every day and working hard, that we'll get over that hump. And you could see that um, with that victory that we had over Hill City. And um, hats off to those kids. They just never gave up this year. Um, we were down, I believe, 14 in the first half against Hill City, and we were able to come back and get an eight-point victory, um, which was huge. You know, they ended our season last year, which kind of left a bad taste in our mouth. And then after beating Hill City, we went up to St. Thomas More, and I felt that we kind of um, we scared them a little bit. We poked the bear. Uh, we were able to get a one-point lead in the third, and then they went on an 8-9-0 run. And, um, but you can just go out and say that these seniors competed to the last time they were on the court, and that's all you can really ask for as a coach. We know you're losing some key seniors, but uh, how about next year? Yeah, so I'm the, the JV coach here at Belfouche, so I kind of have a good idea of like who's coming up next and everything like that. Obviously, those Nolan and uh, Nolan Walfelt and Jet Jensen will have big roles for us. Um, but as far as players that I haven't talked about yet, um, Rance Bowden, he's a junior, will be a senior for us next year. He's my leading scorer at JV. Um, plays hard, really tough kid, can rebound. He's probably 6'1", six, 6'2", six, and he's pretty strong. Uh, and then we had another guard move into our district. Uh, Peyton Dvorak um, came over from Montana. He can really defend and shoot it. So those two guys will um, probably maybe slide into our um, starting spots next season, depending on the work that they do in the off season. And then you could also look at um, McCarter McKenna, who's a junior. He was my um, starting big man this year. A couple games, he dropped 20 points so he can score and, and rebound underneath. And then you got other juniors like Jordan Sandoval. Um, when he sees one shot go in, he's going to hit two or three other ones. Um, Rex Sinatis has really put in a lot of work lately. Um, and then Jonah uh, Muslick is also another junior that will be a senior next year that could uh, do some good things for us. Coach, great to visit with about the Bronx. As always, thanks for uh, coming here and covering our athletes.